Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Held 4 Touring 2 textile jacket. Held's original 4 Touring jacket was one of our staples. It was the kind of jacket our store guys here in Boston would recommend whenever a customer wanted a touring jacket for around 200 quid. This is the successor to that jacket and the price might have gone up a bit, but this is still a well-specced touring jacket that really does live up to its name. The outer material is Held's AirGuard 500. That's a 500 denier polyamide that's a good heat insulator and also delivers the slide protection you need. There's reflective material to make you light up in a car headlight beam as well if that's important to you. The stretch version of that outer material is used in certain sections to make life a bit more flexible. It's on the forearms, under the armpits and then on either side of the waist. On top of that there are also accordion stretch panels above each elbow for even more flexibility. The adjusters at the forearms and also at the waist allow some fine tuning of the fit there and then there are poppers at the lower hem to give you a bit of extra tailoring options. The main fastener is a zip with a velcro storm flap to stop rain reaching it and then getting through the teeth of the zip. At the top the collar does up with this velcro panel and then there's a loop on the end which attaches to this hook here so you can pull it back and get a bit more air around your throat if you prefer. On warm days you don't need to have this storm flap fastened there are mesh panels either side of the zip just here, so if you ride with those exposed, then you'll get some airflow coming through. And how's this for a neat touch from Held? If you fold either side of these back on these flaps, the Velcro has a fastener that pulls back on there to hold it out of the way. And then on this one, you just roll it back, it reveals that Velcro, and then it attaches on that panel there. I think that's a sign of people thinking hard about how their kit is gonna be used. So that big section of venting there is just the first part of the ventilation story really. There are also zipped vents either side of the chest just here, at each collarbone and then on both forearms as well as two long vents down the back of the jacket. You need to bear something in mind though, this jacket's waterproof lining is fixed in place so that will act as a barrier between the outside world and your body when it comes to air getting through. That membrane is lifted as windproof bear in mind so direct airflow is definitely out. Having them open, those vents, will allow the jacket to run cooler and I could feel the benefit when I wore this jacket in the height of our summer, but it won't be as cool as a jacket with either a removable membrane that can be taken out of the way completely or one where the membrane is laminated to the outer shell so it separates when you open the vent zips. Each of the vents on this jacket has what Held called the Held Safety Strap. This strip strengthens the vent and makes it less likely to pull itself open widely in an accident. Now let's talk cuff fastenings. They're big, they're wide, and they do up with Velcro and a zip. I found I could comfortably get a chunky pair of winter gloves inside there. There's plenty of room to do that. And if you're trying to cool down in summer, you can ride with this zip undone here for some airflow. And then the Velcro panel can secure on this tab here to give you some form of cuff closure. And that for me is another nice touch from Held who always seem to put a lot of thought into their kit and how it's designed. Finally, on the outside, let's deal with the pockets. There are two cargo pockets on the front just here. They're stitched up at the sides so you can't tuck your hands in there when you're off the bike. So let's move to the inside of the jacket. The 4 Touring 2 runs a removable thermal liner. It's a quilted one with full sleeves and then there's a warmer section down the middle of the back. Whip that out and you have a mesh liner behind there with two internal pockets which will be waterproof as they're inboard of that waterproof membrane. The armour is held in pockets within that mesh liner as well. It's at the shoulders, it's also at the elbows, as standard, and it meets the basic level one of the CE safety standard. While we're talking safety, the overall CE rating for this jacket is the basic level A. Would show you the label, but held at the moment at least, aren't including the pass level on their clothing labels, so we can't do that. There's no back or chest impact protection as standard, but there is a pocket for an optional back protector and there are Velcro panels inside the mesh lining where you can stick chest protector inserts. Behind that mesh lining is the waterproof drop liner. It's Held's own Held Tex membrane that's waterproof, windproof and breathable. The idea with a drop liner, any drop liner, is that water that gets past the outer surface will then be repelled before it reaches your body. The last detail on the inside of the jacket, the connection zip is a full length one and Held's recommended pairing for this jacket is to put it with their Sarai 2 trousers. At the moment, those trousers are listed at £188.99. So that plus this jacket at the current price of £235.99 means the combination comes in at around £424.99p. There are other optional extras for this jacket too, not just the chest and back protectors that I mentioned earlier. 
if the reflective material doesn't make you stand out enough for your taste, you can add LED strips that will show white on the front and red on the back. You get to the inner surface of the main shell and then you feed those light strips inside and they show up inside these mesh channels on the jacket. And one of those LED kits costs around 70 quid. You can incorporate a held water bladder too, which means you can drink and ride. And one of those bladders is just over 20 quid. This jacket also has held clip-in technology, which is quite a grand title really for some blue connection loops that let you put different layers inside Held's jackets. With this jacket, seeing as there's already a waterproof membrane inside and a removable thermal liner, the main appeal of that clip-in technology is being able to connect Held's airbag vest on the inside. It's Held's clip-in e-vest and you can connect it in and then it effectively becomes part of the jacket. It uses the in and motion technology to monitor you as you ride and it will fire the airbag if it figures out that you're in the middle of a crash. So normally I'd go into sizing information before wrapping up but there are so many options with this jacket that I'll do everyone a favour and say it's better to follow the link below to the listing on our site where you'll find all of that information. So to wrap up, the Held 4 Touring 2 is a really neat jacket with good build quality and I really like some of those neat touches that you find across it. It's a classy piece of kit and at the moment I think it's actually a bit of a bargain. You probably will lose some of that benefit soon as we're waiting for confirmation of the 2022 price list for Held and I'm told this jacket might be going up to just over 300 quid. In fact it might already be that price by the time you watch this video. So when you look at the competition available for that sort of money I'd argue this would still be a decent jacket even at 300 quid especially if you already have a back protector insert and don't need to shell out a few extra quid for one of those but it's not going to be quite the steal it is at the moment. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Held 4 Touring 2 textile jacket but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.